Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 248. Uh, 24 plus 24 plus 100 plus 3 plus 7 plus 45 plus 45 is 248. Cause math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. Hope you're doing well. How are we doing today? You doing okay? Yeah, we're doing swell. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I was asking the people. Oh. Um, I know you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> or so you think. <laughs> on the surface. On the surface you seem fine. Don't dig deeper. <laughs> Hope you've had a good week. Yep. Uh, we're back for another floss tube and um, update about cross stitch. Update. Update on what we've been doing. Yeah. Uh, we had a good week. Uh, nothing too earth shattering. No. These cats are being weird today. Yeah. Um, we did have a, a big day yesterday. Mm -hmm. Uh, started off with kind of an interesting uh, community event. What is with my hair? I'm just not happy today. Uh, <laughs> so Pam's not doing well. <laughs> uh, our township where we live, Mason is a city and it is within Deerfield Township. Didn't know that. Of course you did. Hmm. No, I didn't. I definitely hmm. thought that Deerfield Township was separate from Mason. Well, anyway, whatever. Deerfield Township sponsored an e-waste day, mm -hmm. which meant that you could bring all your old, outdated electronics. Yes, and, and appliances some, and there stuff. There were some limitations, but um, sure. we decided that we would take advantage of that, mm -hmm. get some stuff out of the basement, garage, and so yep. forth. And we took what? We took... Two old printers. Two old printers, a monitor... Well, it was a TV, frankly. Oh, it was actually a TV. That's right. Technically. Um, uh, we took, well, two. A DVR. That all came out of the basement. A DVD player. I mean, a DVD player. All came out of the basement. And then in the garage, we found another A TV car speaker. And, and a, a set of car speakers. Small box TV. So we go down about middle of the morning mm -hmm. because we had already planned on going to craft gallery. Sure. And it was in front of a uh, local theater building. You lined up in front of the movie theater, and then and they, they were like, you around. The yeah, it was theater. it was like a massive queue. Yeah, to go around the movie building and drop off all the, the stuff. Movie building. Well, it isn't like it's a theater. Jeez. Anyway, and I was kind of worried because it looked like at first when we pulled in, it only went till noon and it looked like... And it was like 10 when we got there. We were going to be there for a long time, but it worked out perfectly. And yeah, then great. we took off for, for Finley, Finley mm -hmm. and Craft Gallery. Yeah, had a great day. More on that later. So, um... Well, actually, you want to talk about that? Actually, now? we want to talk about one thing before we show you what we picked up in terms of frame pieces, mm -hmm. we want to mention something that um, Paula mm -hmm. um, asked me to announce. And Paula is one of the owners of Craft Gallery. Yes. She and her husband own Craft Gallery in Finley, Ohio, which is two hours north of us mm -hmm. on I-75. Yep. If you don't know. Great shop, by the way. You should go up there. Mm -hmm. Or down there, depending on where you live. Or, or over, over there. Over. Whatever. Um, they are... Um, honored to have been exclusively chosen by Teresa Kogut mm -hmm. to sell one of her samplers. Mm -hmm. And it's a very special sampler. And I'm going to show you the sampler right mm -hmm. here. I have it in my hand because Paula gave it to me as a gift, yes. which is extremely nice. And uh, you may have seen this, but um, you may not know the background mm -hmm. of it. So this is from um, Creative Whimsy Samplers from Teresa Kogut. And it is called In His Image. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like. Try not to let the glare mm. take away from the design. So good. Okay. And... Teresa had sort of alluded to Paula, apparently, that there was going to be an exclusive chart 
to Craft Gallery. And at first she didn't exactly pin down which design of hers was going to be sold at Craft Gallery. That's the background, I, I guess. I'm, and I'm if I miss anything, you yep. can yep. point it out from that blurb. Yep. Um, and, of course, you've all seen some of Paula's, um, I mean, some of Teresa's, sorry, some of Teresa's new releases. And Paula said to me, I really thought it was going to be maybe this one. I thought maybe it was going to be this one. And she said she was literally floored um, when Teresa said that this chart is exclusive to the craft gallery. And Paula showed me the bin of the called for fabric that she has set aside for anybody that wants to stitch this on the call for fabric and she has it in multiple multiple counts and that is aged hazelnut by extrude designs right the model on the cover is stitched on 40 count but you can obviously stitch it on whatever it's you pretty want. big yeah i was going to say the stitch count is 355 by 277 that's huge so it is quite large yeah so you want to think about doing it on a pretty small count unless yeah. you have a mantle or big wall yeah, yeah, yeah. on which to hang or you could seat. do it on like 18 or just count it up but i wanted to point out a couple of things that i um there was a model on the wall behind the cash register but um i think it's lovely that there is this the row of little children They're right here so by my cute. finger i love them and there's this couple here. I love it. And then there's this couple here. Yep, and then the couple by the church in the middle. And this other couple uh -huh. here. Yep. It's so cute. absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful. Teresa Kogut. You can only get this chart from Craft Gallery. Yep. It will be exclusive to them for at least the next two years. For at least the next two years. Yeah. And um, I believe... What? Uh, Paula said something about uh, uh, Teresa announcing this to her Patreons. Okay. And it may have been before I became a Patreon because yeah, it probably. didn't ring a bell with me. Probably. But she said as soon as Teresa's Patreons were aware of this, Paula said the phone was ringing off the hook. That's great. So... For that reason, if you are interested in getting in his image yeah. from the craft gallery, they will kit it all up for you mm -hmm. as any they've good... They've got thread packs and fabric. They're good to they've go. They've got the thread packs. They've got the fabric. You're going to be good to go. She would like you to email them oh. because they only have one phone line. And if they are continually getting calls, sure, which logically they would after us talking about it, the email is, and it'll be in the description yeah. box below, but the email is PCFRUTH, Fruth, which is Fruth, their last name, which is their name at yahoo.com. Yep. So they are. They in, do not have um, a like uh, online e commerce platform. So no, you they can't. Don't. You can go to their website, but it's just an informational website about their shop. Right. So um, you can't add anything to a cart or pay right. online or anything. So And we've mentioned to... before that they have reduced their operating hours to mm -hmm. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Correct. That's the only time they're open is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Correct. They are cruising into retirement. Yes. So um, cool. good for them. Yeah, um, Paula for was sure. so cute. She said, you know, after they close up the shop on Saturday, she says, by Thursday, I'm ready to come back in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um I wanted so to pretty. make special mention of that Absolutely. and to um, Absolutely. send you uh, to Paula's uh, email address to, to get yeah. that. Uh, you know, and you're all set. It's virtually a kit because she's got all the fabric. Well, you don't have to get the kit. You can get just the That's chart. true, but why not? I mean, why I not? But all right. And then this is old business from oh, last oh. week. What? Oh, let me see. When we say that there's thread packs, what does that entail? Is it all DMC or is it um, usually usually it's a mixture of the two? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's classic color. It's 
three classic color works, and then all the rest are all DMC. Okay. Yeah. So there so you go. Easily cut it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and this is old business from last week. Yeah. I talked to you about um, Jeanette Douglas's new release at market, mm -hmm. Matter in Hand. Yeah. And I didn't have it over here at the side of the room last week, but here it is. Mm -hmm. You've seen it. Um, but just in case you haven't. Mm -hmm. And see how she's got all the different um, languages mm -hmm. for cross-stitch. That's what you were talking about last week. Right. So I mentioned um, doing a... Cute. Doing a... Um, making a change when I stitch it, um, changing from Russian to Ukrainian mm -hmm. and the different colors of the threads. Hold up that bottom section there where the... Um, spools are changing those thread colors to yellow and blue cool yeah, yeah. and i mentioned that i'd corresponded with janet cool. she thought it was kind of yeah. a cool idea i've since found out that um there is a sal that is maybe going to start this week or maybe just started okay. this week and they're going to the gals who the stitchers who are going to uh get going on this um if you follow the hashtag, hashtag matter in hand sal, you can pull up all the stitches who are participating. Cool. They're starting right away. <coughs> um, I'm going to wait until August for World Cross Stitch 12th, Day. which is World Cross Stitch Day in 2022. And that's when I'm going to start mine. I'm not necessarily starting up another sal for it. Will you that's just hitch on to the current one? Probably. Oh, okay. Because they'll still be stitching it. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. All right. So other than that, we're good. I think that catches okay. us up on. Okay. So uh, let's do a hashtag. Let's then. do a hashtag. All right. So our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who um, does not have a stitching friend that lives local to you, that's within driving distance, um, and you would like our help in finding you someone that also lives near you that you can be friends with and stitch with, then we would love to help you. And so every week we ask that if you are someone who wants our help in that, that you comment on our video, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony, and then we pick somebody who has done the, that thing, and then we pick them and then we talk about them. Absolutely. And so this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is whom, Pam? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is... A lovely gal named Christy Flanagan. Hi, Christy. Hello, Christy. That's Christy with a K. And only an I on the end. Yes. And this is what she wrote. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Hello, Pam and Steph. Hello, Hi. Christy. Hi, Christy. I live in Baker City, Oregon, which is a small mountain town Ooh. in eastern Oregon. That's cool. I would love to find some stitching friends close to me. Can you please help me out? Thank you. I bet it's so beautiful Eastern there. Oregon, not on the coast or I, in the middle. I bet it's beautiful there. Yep. Baker City. Baker City. Okay. Look at they got wagons. She goes to the pictures. Sorry. Yep, it is. It is definitely in the mountains. Okay. There is the. Walla Whitman National Forest to your north, the Umatilla National Forest to your east and or west, pardon me, and then the Mahler National Forest to the south. Wow. wow. You got a lot going on there, my friend. Okay. Okay. All right. And it is most definitely in eastern Oregon, close to Idaho. Yeah. Um, what is that? It's literally right off of 84. Okay. So... Here is the state of Oregon. Yeah. And then the red dot is Christy. Mm -hmm. Um and I have you could can't really see it, but right here is Portland. And then that's Christy. So it's literally Portland is on the west coast and Baker City is all the way on the east coast. 
well, just not, about. Not, not the East Coast. Not the East Coast, but the Eastern border. Yes, of Oregon. Oregon. Great. Um, so, I wonder how far it is from Baker City to Portland. It is five hours. Wow. Yeah, that's a long haul. Yeah. Um, that is interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to show you the picture that I found. Um, they've got a picture of Oregon Trail wagons. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. It looks beautiful there, though, for real. Whoa. It's, there's Baker County Historical Society. Got a lot of wagons happening, but that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yep. You know, Oregon Trail and all. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so how this works is if you live in around nearby within driving distance of Baker City, Oregon, and you have room in your stitching group for Sweet Christy, then please comment below on this video and say, Hi, Christy! My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Baker City, Oregon, and I would love to stitch with you. And then it is up to you. Miss Christy, to read through the comments and find the people who have reached out to you. And then you guys can start a conversation and do all the things and it'll be lovely. All right. So, Baker City Stitchers Unite. We hope so. We hope so. Okay. Uh oh. Get whiplash. <laughs> oh no. You know what that means. Yes, I do. Time for Pam's pin comment, and Pam's pin comment was pinned very early it after was. it was posted it was. after last week's video. It was. It is a gem. Yes, it is. We've talked about husbands, and we we've talked about children. children, and we may or may not have mentioned a cat or a dog here and there. Uh -huh. However, never mentioned a bird before. This pinned comment has already gotten comments oh, oh, after funny. it. Yikes. I think six. Or if At the time were, of this screenshot, it was six. It probably has more. I didn't yeah, probably. look at that. This comes from a lovely gal named Norice. Hi, Norice. Hello, and Norice. Thank you so much for yes. this. So this is what she wrote. Okay, I'm ready. Our macaw... Oh, Who knows what a macaw is, class? I do. I, do. I know what a macaw is. Large parrot. Mm -hmm. Buddy. Has started singing. Do, do, do. We couldn't figure out where he had heard that tune. <laughs> then it came to me that he was mimicking Stephanie playing her kazoo. Your audience has expanded to parrots. <laughs> he is your number one bird fan. Obsessed. We plan on buying a kazoo so he can hear his favorite tune played every day. Once a week is not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Needless to say that we both enjoy your videos very much, Narice. Hello, now, buddy. Precious. She sent me a picture of Buddy. Mm -hmm. And he is a beautiful, he is. beautiful bird. He is. And when she sent it to me attached to an email, mm -hmm. I asked her, would she mind? Would Buddy mind? Is, I need, we need Buddy's consent. If, <laughs> if we showed our internet. viewing audience his portrait, his yes. picture. His selfie. His selfie. No, I don't think it's a selfie. I don't think it's a selfie either. Cause anyway, so thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Do do. Mm -hmm. And here is, is a picture of buddy. buddy. Isn't he a pretty bird? Do you, can you imagine? No. Oh my goodness. So, um, like I said, go check out all the interactions about Buddy, the macaw. Yes. And, um, awesome. We love it. It was an early pick. Yes, it early, was. Early, early in the week. Yes, it was. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. 
All right, so I have been laser focused. Laser focused. Laser focused on my uh, Whipco goal for April, my first Whipco goal for April. And my first Whipco goal for April is to work 10 full days on Seeking Refuge by the Scarlet House. And if you remember last week, I had all of the top done except for the main part of the house. I had the roof and chimneys done, but not the main part of the house. And then I had some words and some maybe half of the green diamonds. Um, and so I've been working on it this week. Uh, I'm stitching mine using all of the called for threads, which is like a mixture of general arts and weeks and other over and whatever. Uh, and then I'm stitching it on 40 count doubloon from picture this plus and the the only thread difference I made which I don't know why I did this but sometimes I don't know why I make the decisions I make um is I instead of using three t DMC 310 for the black I decided to use mascara from weeks six or one half I mean yeah one. really really there's literally no variegation in mascara so mm -mm. I've just don't know why I did it, but, right. uh, so this is where I'm at. So I finished the green diamonds. Thank God. Those are all done. And then I finished that top row of words and then I went down to do this section. So this part here, like the little bottom tips of the diamonds and then these words this bird and like up to where it breaks right here that all is one page so I wanted to finish that page okay. um and then I got so the same green that's up here with the diamonds is used in the foliage and the green down here and so I've just been going across doing the green on the this part of it that bird's not over one is it no uh -uh. Oh, okay no, okay. no regular it's bird. so tiny that I wonder. Yeah. Um, and then all, like, f literally from here to here, this whole bottom strip is full coverage. Yeah. So I decided I'm going to do the stems of the flowers first, then I'm going to go and do the flowers, and then I'm going to do the fill-in on the whole thing. Yeah. Because if you look, the... Top is this like light green and then underneath it it's black so I guess I'm technically over here um, so I'm gonna go through and put the flower petals on these flowers and then um because there's 12 I think two four six eight ten eleven whatever um, and then get that done and then go back and fill it in I might do the the only thing that I don't love doing is like so obviously that light green, that fill in light green is going to go from edge to edge down here on the bottom, right? But it's an over dyed thread and not that that really matters because I don't stitch it one X at a time, but I don't like doing like sections of it like that. I like it to go continuous all the way across and then come back. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess I just might have to break out a 17 inch Q snap. Because I can't fit that full width on an 11 by 11. Oh, the 17 by 17 is so cumbersome. I, I know. Find. But I might be able to do like an 11 by 17. Yeah, you could. Or 8 by 17. I always think of doing that and then I don't like it either. But that's just a personal preference. Well, we'll see how yeah. this happens. Yeah. Um, I might just have to call it a day and whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's about the middle. Yeah. Right there. That last little leaf that I'm working on. So, um, the black, I don't care about cause it's all, it's not variegated. So you can't really see the, no. the break is what I'm more or less worried right. about. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. Right. But, yeah. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So after today, let's just look at this real quick. Okay. Cross stitch. Do it go. Okay. So, one, two, three, and a half, four and a half, five, 
six and a half. I'll have six and a half days complete of cross stitching on this piece after today. So that leaves me with three and a half more days to go to meet my goal. And I have five days to do it in. Okay. So pray for me. <laughs> yeah. So that's Good. where we're at. Good. So I'm very much enjoying it. Yes, you should. All right, Pam, what have you been stitching on? I have been monogamous this week as well, okay. and I am also working on my first whip go for April. Yeah, she is. And that is this kit from Bent Creek called Spooky Halloween Mantle. Mm -hmm. The scratches are not part of the frame or the design. <laughs> I don't know just why they're there. I was going to ask you that last week. I it, forgot. It just is the, the glossiness of this little insert. It just... Get oh. scratches by scissors and needles and various oh. other things. There are no scratches. No. In real life. Uh-uh. And I am ready to finish this. Yes, Very, she is. very soon. Crazy. Um, Crazy. This has been a ball. Now, this is on 18 count linen, mm -hmm. which comes with the kit. Yep. Uh, we talked last week about how rare that is getting to you. And how hard it is to purchase the 18 count linen, the 18 count linen, not the mm -hmm. kit necessarily. Right. Um, but a couple of people have chimed in in the comments after last week and suggested other fabrics. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have alternatives Absolutely. if you if you want to do this. But it comes with this as long as the kits are available, or if the charts are available, and Bent Creek is still distributing them to the giving them to the distributors i guess yeah this, these have been around for a while these mantles yeah yeah, yeah. From yeah i don't think that these go to distributors i think you have to order them directly from ben creek that very well may be and that's been my experience at least. you've had a couple calls at keepsakes about them and yep. it is we don't um, have them in stock far at and away the best way to go if you like this or any of the other mantles mm -hmm. i think there are six or eight yep. of them yep. various seasons mm -hmm. is to go to the silver needle but they don't have them either really that's what i told you the other day that the woman told me that the silver needle is out too well, they don't have this particular one i don't know what else they oh have in stock. wow okay yeah. so the hunt is on i guess yeah the we had a customer that called who watched our floss tube last week oh and she wanted to get she wanted to know if we could get it for her, and I told her that I'm more than happy to order it for her. I just don't know how quickly we can yeah, get it. there's no guarantee on time. So I recommended that she called Silver Needle, and then so she thanked me and got off the phone with me. And, you know, I'm not trying to make people wait six months or whatever no, for a chart. So I um, said, told her to call Silver Needle, so she did. They did not have it either oh. and so she from there did a general google search was able to find a source for oh, it oh okay and got it um so I knew she was successful but i i misunderstood i thought she was successful at the silver needle but she wasn't no no, no. but my best recommendation <laughs> is if you want this and you do a general google search for it and you think you found somewhere that has it go ahead and get it Call them first. Oh, yeah, call them. Yeah, because oftentimes they don't update their online. Correct. Like, I think you can still purchase this from the Silver Needle, but the woman was told it was going to be three months before she could get it. Holy cow. So, wow. whatever. All right, so you want to see? Yeah. I'm almost done. Yay. Folks. So this is where I started. Sorry. It's fine. And Look at I'm that all the way down to the little witch. She's so isn't this fantastic, it's you so guys? so good. It's done in DMC number no. 5 pearl cotton. Mm -hmm. There are actually three parts to this. You have to, in order to get the full mantle, you have to buy the three parts. Mm -hmm. The first part is just the greenhouse and the shelf. Yep. And then the middle part is the owl and the um screen with the cat on it mm -hmm. and then the third part is the stack of pumpkins and the witch love it and i have been working on this fairly steadily it's a blast yes i will tell you that um i have had to go to um local shops we have not only keepsakes but we also have a very nice needlepoint shop, needle point yeah. shop nearby to um replenish a couple of colors mm -hmm. 
that came with the kit. Yeah, of Pearl Cotton. Um, so, but so there's that once, and it was like a row. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and I don't know how the people who assemble this. How do they calculate that? How they calculate how much you need because they give give you each color in a little plastic ziplock. They do. You know those little ones. I do. And. Yeah. You know, how do they, everybody yeah. stitches differently. Whatever. Correct. That's a thing. Is so a I will finish this. Yeah, you will. Give you another, give you another Here. shot there. She has another uh, pale bucket oh, she does. cauldron. Oh, yeah, she does. In this hand. Oh, one says tricks and one says treats. Right. Oh, that's cute. And so, I mean, today I did, did I have the ghost done last night? I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. Either. I wasn't keeping tabs. Um, I think I did the ghost and then started her today. And I got all of her done. Yeah. Not all of her, but three quarters of, of her done. Um, and then you've got the shelf of the branches. She's on a little pedestal. Oh, yeah, she is. And then there's buttons, too. And then along the bottom where the black branches are, are orange or burnt orange stars. buttons. Yeah, star buttons. Star buttons that go. Yep, and cute. It's, it's super fun. Um, cute, cute, cute. I think there are six or eight of these. Yep, that's what you said. I'm trying to think. Is it six, seven, eight? It's I not don't. seven. I don't know. I have three. I have mm -hmm. this one. I, I have six. Patriotic, and I have Christmas yep. in my collection. Yes. I don't know when I'm going to stitch the others. No. Um, I will tell you one thing that um, I'm working on my two smalls for StitchCon because I'm doing one for each weekend. And to go from this number five pearl cotton mm. with the big ass needle and then go down to, what am I doing it on? 28 count, the smalls? I don't know. Or 32? 32. Yeah, 32. Pounds. That's a whole, ergonomically, that's a whole <laughs> different <laughs> that's what you do. hand adjustment thing. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. so that's what I have been stitching on. Okay. And I think you'll see a finish. Next, Next week. week. Okay. What's your other April piece? Um, it is the Ocean of Liberty oh, yeah. from Ravaris. Ravaris. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So those are our whips of the week. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. Now, now you might have seen um, if you follow us on Instagram, uh, or if you follow Pam. me. Yeah. Um, I did take pictures of all the moldings we picked out mm -hmm. um, for off. the stuff we left up there to yes. be framed. Yes. And um, to add to the excitement, anticipation, we picked things out of the under the bed box mm -hmm. specifically to have them framed to put on the brag table at StitchCon. Yes, ma'am. So we picked things that we thought would be um, exciting for people to see. Oh, sure. Um, but we picked up four different framed pieces. Oh. We had not been up there since November. Mm -hmm. Um, That's we, crazy. we were planning to go on our way to Steel City. Yep. And of course, the ice storm, the ice storm. So yep. we never made it. Correct. And so I, uh, alerted Paul. I said, we're going to try to get up there this Saturday. Mm -hmm. And we did. So, and we did. Okay. So who's going to go first? Um, why don't you go first? Okay. So these are... Or we uh, can do one and one. Okay. Mine are oldies but goodies. Yeah. Who is this by? Bent Creek. Oh, another Bent Creek. Holy mm -hmm. cow. Um, and this is called... Winter Row. What would I do without her? I not know the answer to all your questions. Winter Row from Bent Creek. Yeah. I stitched this many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. Came out from under the... Bed box. Under the bed box, mm -hmm. and I'll hold it up here. It's Winter Row from Bent Creek. Mm -hmm. And I actually think that Barbara advised me to switch some of the buttons around on this, I think. Okay. We have a model of this at Keepsakes yeah. on the stairs. Yeah, so oh if you want to help me go from end to end on this. I mean, I can just show it. If you okay, want. okay. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Look at it. Um... I can't tell you the fabric, honestly. 
It's a 28 count, I know that much. Yeah, you had to stay with 28 to have For the, the buttons. buttons be proportional. But you can stitch this without the buttons. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is always an option if you're not into the buttons. buttons. Yeah, if you Just don't like the buttons. Just with the button company, yeah. The buttons, some people may think it dates it, but... I love them. I think they're so, cute. So, of course, she put spacers underneath to yep. accommodate the thickness of so the buttons. So you don't squish the buttons, but... Right. I love him. I think he's so cute yeah. with his buttons. With his hat on. Yep. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, so the chart is sold separate of the button pack. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and, you know, you do the buttons last, so. Mm -hmm. But we have, this is still available, and like Pam said, we have a model of it at Keepsake, so. Yeah. You want to put it over there? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, the, this other one came out of the bed box, and it is from a leisure arts book, the title of which I can't remember. If we... Think of it, we'll put it below. Or if somebody is, like, you need to know because your life can, can't go on without knowing, then just send us a message. Or leave a know. comment and yeah, we'll yeah, look yeah. it up for you. Yeah. Um, but this is from a leisure arts book. I think Seasons is in the title of the book. Cool. And it's called Snow, Snow is for the Birds. Winter is for the Birds. Winter is for the Birds. Sorry. And I want you to notice, Paula put spacers in this to give it somewhat of a shadow box look and I think it's very effective so this is winter is for the birds that's sweet I love it I just love it <laughs> and I had stitched this so long ago that I didn't maybe know how to cut my fabric appropriately oh yeah there yeah was that's all right kinds of excess fabric on the I forgot sides about that. <laughs> and so to see it cut down to size and proportional to the frame such a long piece of fabric like i can't even tell yeah, you yeah and so how long it was. and i think this is on a this is on an even weave yeah it's 28 count too and i'll tell you what this this glass that i'll she tell puts you on what here, this is i'm gonna tell you what anti-reflective glass this mm -hmm. is all paula does Ultra View it is. UV is. Does have any other option? I don't think so. Well, unless somebody wanted museum glass, I suppose. Oh, yeah, yeah, So if you wanted to take a screenshot of that and, and ask your framer. Yeah. This stuff it's amazing. is, it makes the colors. I told Paula this. I told Patty this yesterday. Mm -hmm. I said it makes the colors pop. But when she's got them hanging on the pegboard in the back waiting to be picked up. You literally walk up to the wall and you mm -hmm. have to tap with your fingernail because you think there's no glass on it. Very true. And it's extremely light. And it's just the best stuff. It's the best stuff. So there's a little bit, I don't know if I can indicate to you or show you, but it's set back just a smidge from the edge of the frame, yeah. which adds a little depth to it. A little depth. We're at, we're at depth. So, anyway, um, I think you could find that booklet. Um, if it's not in your it. stash already from days gone by, you can find it on... Yeah, I'm um, trying to find it, but I can't. Um, it's a pretty thick leisure arts book. There were several designs Oh my gosh, I found it. it. Something for every season. Something for every season. Can you pop that um, to show the cover of it? Hold on. She's going to try to... I'm going to try. Come on, come on, come on. Um, there are a lot of cute designs in it. If I, in fact, the one I did is on the cover. Something for every season in leisure arts. Yep. There it's, it is. And then right down here in the bottom corner, yep. that's the one that Pam did yep. right there. Yep. It's so stinking cute. Yep. Lots of back stitching. This is probably oh, yeah. from well, the come on late eighties. That is so funny. This is a on sale at a Walmart website. Hold on. Well, yeah, yeah. Walmart dot com. But it's it's sold and shipped by a place called Stuff for Crafts. Yeah, yeah. In Ontario. Yeah. But you can buy it still. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, um, something for every season by Leisure Arts. Yep. yep. Cool. Interesting. Okay. So, there you go. Those were my two that I picked up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And then the two that I got picked up, 
I know this is going to come as a shock to all of you, but one is a Lizzie Kate Christmas piece. Um, as if I don't have 700 other Lizzie Kate Christmas pieces, but I love it so deal with it. So this, I think, is just called Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And this is what it looks like. And I just think he's fresh. And I'm real, real proud of my stitching in this one. My stitching looks very good. I mean, look at his beard. Look at his beard. And look at those beads and those snowflakes. You're welcome. And the big sleigh. It's just so cute. But the freaking Santa is damn cute. Yep. Um, so, Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Lizzie Kate. That was one of your very first stitches. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Not as far no, back not as, far as back this, this one, one you're going to show next. So this one I stitched and finished in 2017. And it's just now getting framed. If you've watched this from the beginning, then you know about this piece. Um, oh, let me say that the Lizzie K um, is only available on 123stitch.com. Right. Um, and so, okay, the next one I got is from the Frosty Pumpkin Stitchery. Uh, and it's called Sleepy Hollow Sampler, I think is what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, and this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. This is the one that you decided you were not going to put smiles on inanimate objects. Correct. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean... left the smiles off, even though that's the... I mean, uh, I put the... Mm. No, yes. Did I misspeak? I think... I mean, there's obviously a smile on the pumpkin and the cat. Oh, oh. So, let me look. Maybe you decided to I think I took it off the moon, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, sleepy. Okay. Hollow sampler frosted I'm looking at a pumpkin maybe you just took it off the moon I might have let me see what the picture looks like uh nope nope this is stitch exactly as called for oh well just forget everything I just said in the last two seconds uh yeah but I love it oh I think it's, it's so cute. cute so yeah now I have something for the Halloween wall which uh -huh. is cute. I remember stitching that freaking candy cane, candy cane, candy corn mm -hmm. border, and it was just at the death of me, I thought. Mm -hmm. um, but it's cute, and I really am obsessed yeah. with this frame. Yeah. I think it's perfect for it. Yeah. So, love it. And I want to say, too, if I haven't, so that I don't forget to say it. Uh-huh. Um, we went up there with... Um, our accumulated donations yes. from Buy Me a Coffee yes. and Ko-Fi. Yes. We also had some paper gift certificates to the craft gallery that folks had given us at different retreats. Mm -hmm. I think most of them came from people who saw us at Stitchway in yes. January. We also had cash that yep. people mm -hmm. mailed to us yep. um, in the mail mm -hmm. that they said, this is my donation. Buy Me a Coffee donation, put this sure. toward framing. Yeah. And we went to cash out, and it was noticeably, um, noticeably lower. Oh than, yeah. Than our than our bill because of your generosity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, this is why we do it the way we do it, yeah. and we sincerely appreciate mm -hmm. everybody who um, has contributed toward that. So. So um, thank you so much. We left, that. how many did we leave six. up there? We left six pieces up two there. Two of mine, four of yours. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And um, But two of yours had frames already with them. Oh, yeah, like that's you were right. Having I was having made them or uh, kind of repurposed, sure. if you will. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but, um, so there you go. Yeah, so I left A Joyous Christmas from Birds of a Feather, and I left uh, Cut Through Lighthouse. Uh-huh. So those are going to be exciting to yeah, see. Yeah, super exciting. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Now it's time for... Promotions! Yay. Yay. Excellent. This is the triple P. Right. The promotional portion of the program. 
Absolutely. Uh, first and foremost, we do have a little bit of news that yep. we wanted to share with you all. Right. So, uh, so much to love. The project bag making powerhouse, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, whom we promote here on our channel. They have started their own website. Mm -hmm. So from since a, the dawn of or the inception of so much love, their um They've been cus on Etsy. their customer sales have been on Etsy. Yeah. And they have now moved to their own website, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And so we just wanted to let everybody know that. Right. Um and that we will um Link their new website below, of course. Yeah. And, um, good for them. Yes. And also, they are having a contest going on right now that, um, I think if you like either make a purchase or, um, spend a certain amount or something, hold on, let me look it up because I don't want to be wrong. Um, I know that the prize is a so much to love standard size bag every month for a year. Oh, that's right. Which is like uh -huh, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. I would know because we're in the bag of the month club. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it says, um, all right. So like their Etsy is com like, they're no longer taking orders on Etsy. It's completely done. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Any order placed on the new website before midnight, April 30th. Okay. So you've got till the end of the month. Mm -hmm. We'll be entered into our drawing to win one standard bag of your choice, a $39 value, every month for a year. So it's like the bag of the month club, except you get to pick which ones you want, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, winner will be announced May 1st. And then on their website, there's a ready to ship section. Mm -hmm. And that's where everything... Everything obviously in there is ready to ship, so there's no wait for the bags to be made. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's that too. Yeah, um, if you need something right away, mm -hmm. so that's amazing. And congratulations to them sure. for opening their new. Sounds like website. it's a smart move. It's uh, yeah, I think it's literally just um, so much to love. Dot com, but yeah, either way, that's yeah. great. So yay for them. We'll link that below. Yes, we will absolutely. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, per usual, we have our pattern of the week from Twin Peak Primitives. Yes. So every week we look through the Twin Peak Primitives collection of charts and we pick one that we love and that we think you'll love too. Or sometimes they tell us what they want us to promote and we're yeah. like, cool, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And that is what happened this week. Yeah. And then this particular chart, like every other pattern of the week, will be 20% off for the next week for all of our amazing viewers. So this week's chart is called E Pluribus Unum. And if that sounds familiar to you, <laughs> then it's because that this chart was at one point part of a limited exclusive kit right. that was sold on the Twin Peak Primitive Limited Exclusives Etsy shop. Right. As a kit form. I think the demand yes. um, just so has high. kind of picked up on this yes. and people want the chart and so they just decided let's release it chart only. Absolutely. And um, so ours is from the kit. Obviously, yes. that's why we have a hard copy of it. So we'll show you that, but we'll also insert another picture too from yeah, absolutely from the pattern. But so um, this is what the it's very patriotic. Yes, it's awesome. For, um, United States. Yes, and, of course. Um, uh, so we're happy to promote this. Absolutely. And we'll insert this picture too, so yes. maybe you can get a better screenshot. We're going to do that here. Here you go. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. So we wanted that's... to talk about where they go for it. Okay. I was like, these poor people don't know what to do now. Um, so if you love E Pluribus Unum as much as we love E Pluribus Unum, and you were not able to get one of the limited edition kits, and you want to get your hands on a 20% off copy, you can do so for the next week from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop both of which are linked below. From those two places, you get a PDF version of the chart. 
If you would rather have a hard copy of the chart, totally fine with us. Uh, but the only place that you can get a discounted copy is from the Daily Stitcher, which is an online needle workshop, also linked below. Right. So, you have one week. Here you go. Have fun. Go grab it. Okay. Okay. You don't need any code or anything. It's already discounted, so you're good. Okay. Okay. We just uh, flipped the lights on if it looked like it's blinking at you because uh, we're it's it's just getting brighter. dark here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. It's time for mail, mail call. Okay. Wow. We had a big mail call, people. We sure did. We did. We did. Um, okay, so Easter is coming up. It is next Sunday, I do believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we got this super sweet Easter card. Mm -hmm. It says, you crack me up on it. Isn't Get it? Funny? Get it? Because it's a it's an egg. And look. Look. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh. This beautiful card is from Chris in Canada. Oh, yeah. From Chris. Yes. Yeah. And. Um, Adorable. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Chris. Um, okay, then we got, um, this is just out of the kindness of her sweet soul. Oh, I know. Um, and Jody from Steel City Stitchers here on Floss Tube. She dyes her own fabric, and she has a Fabric of the Month Club. And she sent us two pieces of her Fabrics of the Month. Um, and she sent me 40 count linen, and she sent you what? Uh, she 32 sent count me Evelyn. 32 count Lugana. Got it. So, yeah. these, ah, these are the two colors. Look at the, look, just, look, just, just. Isn't that yummy? Wow. Look at how beautiful this is. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Yep. It's gorgeous. And in Lugana. It's also equally gorgeous. Yes. So you can see that. A little more muted, and I love, love it. it. Thanks, Jody, yes. so much. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Jody. Um, if you are interested in finding out more information about the Fabric of the Month Club from Jody at Steel City Stitchers, I will, of course, link all of her information. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Thank you, Jody. I love you. Yep. Uh, okay. Then. We got some big packages this week. We surely did. Yes. Wow. Holy cow. All right. So this package came from... Our mailman had to come down the whole driveway. Well, this mailman came to keepsakes because this person... Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'm, so I'm going to give you the uh, packages and then... Because I'm not going to show every little thing that came. Right. Uh, because we'll be here for a day and a half. Yeah. But we do want to acknowledge that they came and thank the people for sending them. Right. So this package is from Candace. Mm -hmm. Hi, and, Candace. Hi, Candace. And Candace is so sweet. Um, and she is a Keepsakes customer, which mm -hmm. is great. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Uh, but she's also just Keepsakes and fan, which is equally, if not more, great. Um, and she sent us a package full of incredible charts mm -hmm. that um, it's, are, are going to be, a lot of them are going to be in future giveaways. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, the ones that we set aside, were at the, yeah. So, yeah. as you can see, yeah. she sent this awesome blackbird, she sent plum streets, she sent this prairie moon that Pam has stitched. Um, and then this from With Any Little Thread. All of these will Good be stuff. in future giveaways. Mm -hmm. um, and then we are keeping this one for our stash yeah. from the Cricut Collection, number 352. Um, and it's called Forever. Yeah. It says, love you forever on it. I love it. And if you remember, I've stitched February by Cricut Collection. Um, so I think this will make a nice little companion piece, you know? Absolutely. And then look at the little hot air balloon. So cute. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I love Let me it. Let see. I didn't catch the hot air balloon. Well, it's because you weren't paying attention. Man. Oh, my gosh. Is that oh cute? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So, so excited. Thank you so much, Candace. Oh, Candace, this was the great. The people are going to love it. Can you put those in the envelope for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
So thank you, Candace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the next stack of amazingness came from a sweet woman whose name is Heather. Mm -hmm. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. And she <clears throat> um, basically did a very similar thing. So she went through a stash, found some stuff that she wanted to send to us to use how we wanted, whether to keep it or pass it on. And I can't show you the pictures of these. Right. But I can, because I don't have them. Well, I do, I guess. But she didn't. Anyway, they're all four of the Celtic seasons. Yeah. Yeah. From lavender and lace. Yeah. Yeah. All four of them. Yeah. All so four. That's gonna make a nice bundle. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this amazing mermaid. Yeah. Again, great giveaway. And then um, she also sent this freaking cute. Russian cat kit. Mm -hmm. Isn't it precious? I love it. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much, Heather. We yeah. very much love and appreciate all yeah. of that. And all the folks that always say, you know, keep what you want, put them in your giveaway. Do whatever. <laughs> put them on the, put them on the um, table at a retreat. We thank love you. that. We yes. love that we can kind of yes. shop and find our favorites and yeah. then give back. And pass on the goodness, you and know? give back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, then the next package was quite the doozy. So we knew it was coming, but we also didn't know it was coming. Yeah. So this package is sort of haul, but also sort of milk haul. Right. So Erica mm -hmm. is a viewer, look mm -hmm. at this, adorable card she sent. Look at those birds. Look mm -hmm. at their hair. I love them. Mm -hmm. And she knew that we were in search of some birds of a feather out of print charts. Right. So she reached out to Pam and, and Pam said, and her had a dialogue. A deal. And we went back and forth. Yes. And um, I indicated which ones I would like to get and I indicated how much I was willing to pay. Yes. And she said, that's perfect. Could you do a one, two, three stitch gift card? I said, no problem. We did it within the next few minutes online. Yep. She was thrilled. She said, oh my gosh, that Thank was so fast. Much. And then this, this box arrives. Box showed up. And I opened the storm door to lift this box. It was one of those priority boxes. Mm -hmm. This thing was incredibly heavy heavy, heavy. yeah so thank you for the postage alone that it took to send this oh, box oh i know and i thought to myself well that's the woman who was sending us was a sending couple us charts a couple of charts well she went mm -hmm. a little further she did so what made the package so yeah. heavy yeah. were these two beautiful coffee table books of artwork by Charles Wysocki, whom Pam and I love. Right. So there's this book, which mm -hmm. is called An American Celebration. Mm -hmm. um, this is what the back of the book looks like. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful it book. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful book. book. Um, and then, y'all. Yeah, yeah. This book is called Heartland. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, by Charles Wysocki. And so, the, to be fair, the other book, we have. Right. So, we didn't page through it because we already have it. So, right. um, but we know the perfect place for it. So, mm -hmm. we're good. Um, but, this other book, we did not have. Right. So, when we got home from Craft Gallery yesterday, and mm -hmm. we were opening the mail, and we found this book, Pam and I sat and paged through it together, which mm -hmm. was so fun. Mm -hmm. And so, we opened it. it. It's in immaculate condition. Yes. And the, okay. And then we get to the second page. The title page. The, literally the title page. And it says, the collector's edition, Heartland, Charles Lysaki, the Greenwich Workshop Collection. Greenwich. Greenwich, excuse me. Heartland commemorates my collaboration with the Greenwich Workshop. And this collector's edition has been created specially to accompany Remington, the horticulturist, which is one of his paintings. Mm -hmm. It is limited in number to the edition size of that print, and I am pleased to sign this copy for you. 
it's signed. Yep. Yep. And I looked at it and I looked at it and I'm she like, went, holy cow, mom, this is signed. I said, this is actually signed by Charles Ross Hockey. Yep. That's amazing. It is. And we spent, I'm going to say, a half an hour, 45 yeah. minutes flipping through this beautiful, beautiful book. It's so And you cool. can because there was so much There's detail just so much to in see. his artwork. And we both just love, love, love. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Oh. With like pictures of his childhood mm -hmm. and like it's just so amazing. Mm -hmm. Look, just just look at this beautiful yeah. picture. Oh, mm -hmm. it's so good. Yeah, it's incredible. Yes. Um. And it says, "I have acquired a great." Hold on. I have acquired a great admiration for the beauty of early American art. I hope my paintings revive pleasant thoughts of a bygone era and express a semblance of order and serenity that fill a need in this fast-changing world. I feel the greatness and beauty of America and in it an endless source of inspiration for my paintings. And like, ain't that the truth? I, I so appreciate this. It's Jessie, so cool. That, um... I love Charles R. Rocky. That she sent this to us. Yes. So... Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was amazing. So and that's sweet. what made the box so, so damn heavy. Heavy. Yes. But totally worth it. And that wasn't all that was in the box. I know, that's the crazy part. So inside the box was this stack mm -hmm. of charts. And we haven't even gotten to like I don't know the stuff we pay for. Right. So there's like all kinds of just stuff. Like look at this freaking cute mosey and me. Yes. I'm oh my gosh, I'm gonna do him. Um I mean, I'm are gonna, you? I'm gonna stitch. Yeah, it. you are. Um, and then more lavender and laces, mm -hmm. told in the gardens. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, would you like to see a throwback Sue Hillis? Yep, the art. This That's is a a bounded. What what Spiral year was bound. this? What? It's probably in the front. Well, you know, you're probably right. A cross stitch collection from Sue Hillis Designs, yep. 1995. Yep, it's a great year. Huh. It's a great year. Two by two. The story of Noah from that Sue is Hillis. so crazy. It's awesome. Yeah, look at it. It's awesome. I love it. That's what so a amazing. lovely, lovely thing that would be to have stitched. And like, look at this Dimensions Gold Kit with this rose on it. Yep. That is wild. It just goes on and on. Yes, folks. it does. It does. So there's so much like there's a ton of blue ribbons. Yeah, a ton of blue there's ribbons. There's a lot of RETMs. Mm -hmm. There's some shepherd's bushes, some twisted threads. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of twisted threads. Yep, a lot of heart and hand. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. so good. Just like so good. Yep. Um so we'll go through and, yep. and see and do exactly thing, so the things that we want to keep. Um, some of these I already have in yeah. my collection. Oh, this guy, I love him. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at him. That's, Look at him. That's a mosey. What's what's the title of that Pumpkin one? Boy. Pumpkin boy. Pumpkin oh boy. And the gosh. fabric that it's stitched on is Over the Hill Purple by R and R. I bet you can't get that, but well, you no. can get something. I can find fabric that looks Absolutely. like that. That's for dang sure. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I love him. He's only Oh no, he's not he's that big. tiny, you know. Yeah. Um, but just like it's just craziness. Mm -hmm. It's just absolute craziness. So, um Yes. So thank you, Erica. Erica, you outdid yourself and I mean, really we just were overjoyed yes. to go through all of those goodies. Yes. But we Let's also show you what we show paid for what we got from you with um with the payment of a gift card. Yes. So this will um, be our segue into haul. Yeah. More or less. More or less. Yes. Okay. So um, this particular chart I actually have on loan from mm -hmm. someone right now. However, if you have watched us for a while, you know that if we have a chart on loan, then there's pressure to stitch it, obviously. Yeah. And I have not started stitching it since I got it. Yeah. And I don't want to hold on to it. Mm -mm. You don't have to now. 
Right, but no, I don't have to. Um, and this is called Watch Out Christmas Stocking. From Birds of a Feather. From Birds of a Feather. Yeah. Look at this. <coughs> Look at that. Yeah. It's so freaking cute. And it says, you better watch out, you better not pout. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. I just think it's so cute. And I love the toes. And then the toe and the heel. Oh my gosh. Look at the little town in the middle. Yeah. So now you'll be able to um, rest back the one that rest. is on loan to you. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And then we are desperate. On the, on the hunt. <laughs> desperately searching. For the birthday cats from Birds of a Feather. Yes. And she, um, she reached out and asked, you know, which ones are we looking for? What are our unicorns? And I told her we're trying to find the the birthday cats and she said I have these ones these ones and I said we'll take them we'll take them um so we already have the January one mm -hmm. so we have the January one in our collection then from Erica we got the February one mm -hmm. look at just look at her mm -mm. just look at her mm -hmm. I love it and then we got the June cat Mm -hmm. The little bride, obsessed. Mm -hmm. Her veil is everything. Mm -hmm. That's what Muffin would look like if she got married. <laughs> and then this is the July cat. Mm -hmm. And obviously Pam will stitch this because, hi. <laughs> I can't wait to see Pam stitch a cat wearing pants. <laughs> and, and holding the mirror tight. So that's what we got from Erica. Erica. <laughs> and thank you so very much. We... Well, we sincerely thank you. That nice was phone. quite. There we go. Oh, you dropped your. Phone. I did, but I need it for the next segment for the sound effect. But oh. <laughs> Erica, thank you. Yes, we thank love you, Erica. you. Much appreciated. Okay, so since we were on the technically segue to haul, let's keep going with haul. Okay. Okay. Why don't you go? Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember what I got this week. Oh, um, I bought another pair of. Um, Premax scissors. I found these listed on um, Etsy, uh -huh. and they are Premax, which are made in Germany. Sure. I yes. No. I don't know where they're made. Italy, from. Italy, Italy, Italy. And, and they had three. Premax. Yeah. And they had three tartan colors. Hold it against the printer back there. Chloe, it's your palm of your hand. Or this. So you can see. Well, it's... Come here. Anyway. There was a red and a green and a blue. And I asked Stephanie, I said, which one should I get? And she said the red and the green made her think too much of Christmas. Mm -hmm. She didn't think I needed Christmas scissors, I guess. Well, I wouldn't think tartan. I'd think Christmas. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Whatever. And so, so it kind of looked like wrapping paper to me. Oh, okay. So I picked those up, uh, fairly reasonable. Um, and she's going to uh, link the um, seller on Etsy. Yeah, the Etsy shop is called Terry Dry, Terry Dryden Designs dot com. Right. So I picked those up Premier as scissors. a high quality scissors. Since you're adding to your scissors collection, huh? Right. I'm taking things right in the order that she put them. I want that noted, please. Mm -hmm. They don't care. They like it when you switch it up and I get mad. All right. This, I thought, was a very good deal. Okay. And I kind of did it without consulting Stephanie. You did sort of consult me, though. I did sort of, and you said, oh, yeah. asked for my permission for whatever Oh, yeah, do that. Yeah. So this is from another Etsy shop called Creek Lane Crafty BTQ. <clears throat> um, I don't know what BTQ would stand for. Boutique. Oh, yeah, boutique, of course. Of course. So, so it's Creek LN. But she only had one of these. Yeah, she only has one of everything. Oh, okay. But what they are is, again, <clears throat> Butternut Road. Earth Dancer. Whoops, sorry for the glare. Now, not just the chart. Nope. The called for fabric, which is 28 count prairie grass or something like that, mm -hmm. 
all the DMCs, all the Chronics, and all the Rainbow Galleries. And I can tell you from experience that a lot of the called for Rainbow Gallery fibers, which you need for like the fringe and the um, dream catcher and et cetera, et cetera, a lot of the right. fancy stuff, those are fibers from Rainbow Gallery that are no longer manufactured because um, that chart is, you know, a couple years old. I was telling Paula about this yesterday. Oh, were you at really? The craft Gallery and I said, yeah, you needed to do it on 28. Yeah, so like the... Because there's the, actual um, leather. Let me pull that out to show you if I can. Sure. Um, the... Yep, there you go. It's that creamy leather. Right. Where'd it go? On okay. the front. Um... Okay, these are all the Rainbow Galleries. And all nicely packaged in plastic, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, ultra suede to oh, yeah. resemble, okay. you know, leather. Uh -huh. It's um, ultra suede in a particular color. Mm -hmm. I think that's still made, I think. I but the one you it. said is no longer made is this yeah. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thought. Because I kitted it up. And the reason I know this is because um, we had a customer at Keepsakes that wanted this kitted up. And some of the Rainbow Galleries I literally couldn't get because they're all This made. is the thread. I don't know what It's the, used in the dream catcher. It's used in the dream catcher. Uh -huh. Look how pretty that is. So I was able to find like a Gloriana or something that was at least color-wise similar. So when you add up all the components, the price I paid was well within oh, reason. Yeah. Well within yeah, reason. Yeah, 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 sure. And um, absolutely. I have been hunting for a Native <coughs> Aboriginal, whatever, um, Native American design that was not geared toward the western part of the country mm. because I actually think I have some Native American in my in my family tree. Yeah. Um, I've seen some notations about a an Indian maiden who married a um, a scout if you will but mm -hmm. it was one of the New England tribes um, so think like the tribes that existed um, when the pilgrims arrived, that that kind of thing. And um, so many of the Native American cross-stitch designs have buffalo on them mm -hmm. and have Western decor, mm -hmm. and that is not as relatable to me. Mm -hmm. So when I saw this, I thought, okay, this is one that I can sort of get into a sure. little bit. So sure. I thought that was the deal. Um, moving right along, um, just wanted to share, this is one of the, um, Patreon, um, benefits from Teresa Kogut. She released the April ornament and it's called Sweet Fruit and that's available for her Patreons mm -hmm. at the, I think at all levels of her Patreon and that's very pretty. That's yeah, cute. Um, I also saw that the drawn thread had come out with... Is it one, two, three? Four. Three. Three. Three different scissor tags or scissor fobs, if you will. Mm -hmm. And um, so I purchased these. Oh, you did? You, they were purchased? I thought yes. they were. I didn't know if they were freebies or not. No, they were purchased. I think From they were where? five bucks a piece. From where? Um, their website, website, I believe. Okay. Their website. All right. Cool. And um, I just got to tell the people. There know. was a special timely reason that they issued these but ah. one is called hope okay so cute one is called thank you one is called love look at that and this one is called peace and all the proceeds from the peace one are going toward humanitarian efforts to help the um the citizens of ukraine so if you only They're got one, new. you know, get the, get the piece one. Cool. Um, I think it's off the. Well, you can get whatever website. one you like. Yeah, but I mean, fair. yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. Do you remember the um? What? The floss tuber. Nope. 
shoot. Do you want to hold it and look it up and show it next week? Mm. <laughs> Making real world decisions right here. Um, pause it. Okay. Okay. We remembered together. <laughs> I did. I remember. Yeah. She did. Um, there's a new floss store out there called the Tiny House Stitcher, and her name is Angie. And I think it's um, just Tiny House Stitcher. I don't think it's the Tiny House Stitcher. Right. No, the. Right. Correct. Um, and um, like me, she's... Um, Hold on. Okay. Um, good. And anyway, uh, she showed a whip that she's working on, yeah. and she did, and it's called um, The Daughters of the American Revolution, and it's from Victorian Motto, and I had never seen this. Um I'm also in the DAR, so I went and picked this up. Angie's doing the letters in blue, which corresponds oh. to um, the um, the actual DAR logo, I think, or something oh, like that. That's cool. And it's very striking with blue. So I, you know, do that. Too. I found that and and wanted to pick that up. That's cool. And then this looks like this old one's going on perforated paper. Yeah, it probably was, but I haven't opened it to look. Um, I also um, went ahead and had Stephanie add me onto Keepsakes' order for GH 1850, 1857. Yes. This is a lovely book from our friend Simone. Mm -hmm. um, we um, met Simone when we were over in the Netherlands in 2019. We sure she did. She met us and um, she rode a boat down the canal with us for a little bit. It's so fun. Um, we actually found a couple of pictures of us that will... Um, um, we're going to put them in? Yeah, we we're going to put them in. talk about it. Um, but it's a lovely book. I love all the blue tones of this. Yeah, um, it's so pretty. She has a... Um, she has a website and a Facebook group. She does. Um, and it is, um, I don't know if I can say it. Is it so, so, so a day? So, so a day. I'm not sure, but I'm going to give this to Steph. Where does it below. say e day? Oh, that's, that's must be how you think it's pronounced. It is. It's E day. Okay. The second word. Okay. She lives um, in the Netherlands and yeah. she lives, it's quite close to where the twins live in the Netherlands. Yes. And so she met us in Amsterdam and um, she's a tall, tall young lady. She is. And um, I remember walking around and standing in line to get on the boat with her and she's just a delight. Um, we'll insert um, a couple of pictures of us with Simone on the boat in Amsterdam. Yes. Um, here. here. And then, here. Well, you may not know, if you pick this up, you may not know that, um, that she has put out an errata sheet, you know. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, errata is Latin for errors. Oh. So there are a few symbol errors in the sampler. Okay. And you need to go to um, her. Website? I think she put it on her Facebook page. Oh. Because she felt really bad about it. And, <laughs> okay. And so um, if you've already gotten GH1857, um, you might want to go over to her Facebook page and pick up. Um, well, did she notice the errors? Do you know when they were fixed? I don't know. Okay. I don't know that they this will is be a... fixed or have been fixed. Got it. Okay. I don't know the details. Yeah, so that's the her label. Because we don't yeah. know how to say pronounce it correctly, unfortunately. So what a day, I think. Atelier is um, means shop, I think. Yeah, for um, atelier soirée. Yeah, sure. However, so like I said, if you have you know picked this up because you fell in love with it from Market, um, make sure that you. She wasn't at Market, was she? No. no. Oh. Um, yeah. So very cool. Oh, and I liked she gave a little bit of background about the. Um, the original antique sampler, mm -hmm. she 
um, found it for sale on Dutch eBay. I thought mm -hmm. that was really Called interesting. Called Marketplatz. Yep. And so I thought that was really very, very cool. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful chart. So I'll leave you that note to yep, put I got in the you. notes. And you can just I've already got it. put that inside the book. Yep, I got you. Oh, well, here's a good picture of her. Did you see this? Yeah, that's an adorable picture of her. Yeah, she's super sweet. She's and you can kind of pick up from that picture. She's, she so really tall. is tall. And like a lot of um, young Dutch, um, she is thin as a rail because, of course, they just drive... They just ride bikes everywhere. So, of course, they're fit as, fit as a fiddle. So there's no fat people in the Netherlands. Hardly, a, hardly at all. Except when we visit. No, I'm kidding. Um, when I visit, I should say. Um, I saw, I watched the video that Karen, Kirk, and Brendan did after they got back home to, the, to Australia. Oh. After they were here for Market and yep. everything. Fox and Rabbit. Mm -hmm. And um, they did a lot of shopping, as you would expect. Um, yeah. And uh, Bren showed this, and uh, Karen said when he was showing it on the video that um, it was an exclusive from um, the little help from our friend's sewing circle, not this current year, but past yeah. years. And um, Karen was remarking about how Lindy went right to it, you know, and or uh, from the silver needle. And, it's, it, and you can only get it from the silver needle. I don't know how many they have left, but I immediately called Lindy and um, I said, I want threads that bind from um, the drawn thread. The drawn thread. And it's the full kit. Mm -hmm. And it was very, cool. very reasonable, 20 bucks yep. for Plus shipping. Yeah. Um, from the Silver Needle exclusively. Mm -hmm. So thanks to Brent and Karen very sweet. for showing that. Very sweet. Um, the other thing that I have been on the hunt for is the Fancy That Elves mm -hmm. from back in the day. And I had someone reach out and offer to send me the baking elf look at that and um also the primitive mrs nick and so she cute. said i think if you did a little bit of research you could find primitive mr nick mm -hmm. so that's as old saint nick so mr and mrs claus absolutely and um that was from um a lovely lady named beth yeah. who sent me the baking elf yeah. and primitive mrs nick mm -hmm. and i am slowly building my collection of the elves mm -hmm. and beth was right i went right over to eBay, yes, and I found <laughs> Primitive Mr. Nick, and that's him. yeah, you did. So they He's will so cute. They will be a stand-up set um, eventually. Oh yeah. Um, and I was looking to see 1995. See, it's a good year, man. That's my era. So mm -hmm. anyway, all right. That's that my all haul. your haul. That's all my haul. My chair is empty. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Uh, so. We are in the 2002 Fabric of the Month Club from Color and Cotton. Mm -hmm. So if you um, have not gotten your April Fabric of the Month yet and you do not want to be spoiled, then I suggest you fast forward about a minute. Yeah. Now that they're gone, the April 2022 Fabric of the Month from Color and Cotton is called Pampas grass. Pampas grass. What I did kept you say yesterday? Pampas grass. No, it's not pampas. It's pampas. I like pampas instead. <laughs> um, and I get, uh, we both get fat quarters and mine is 40 count and Pam's is 32 count even weave. Yep. It's lovely. So mine's a little it's bit. lovely. I love color and cotton. It's a little bit darker. <laughs> mm-hmm. It smells good. It's lovely. It smells good. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've got. Our TV just flickered. Oh, because it's been on pause for a day and a half. Um, they have new packaging. So, 
That's interesting. The label is on the outside of the bag. So if you take it out of the plastic, you need to re-label it. You gotta cut it out of the bag. So, I have thoughts about that, if you can't tell. Uh, okay, then, uh, Pam did found something on a D-stash from a sweet woman named Dawn. Yeah. And she showed it to me on her phone, and she was like, do you like this? And I said, yes, please claim it, and she did. And then when the package came from Dawn... It turns out Dawn is a fan of Just Keep Stitching. She wrote in her note, she said, OMG, 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 Pam claimed one of my D-stash items. She was very excited. Very excited. She really wanted my money. She no. did. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. Um, and so the chart that we claimed is from Summerhouse Stitchworks, and it's called The Fox. So... Obviously, I said yes yeah. to this. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised I didn't have it already, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, but she also sent along, because she's very sweet, um, two pieces of fabric from Fortnite, Fortnite Fabrics. Yeah. Um, so one is for Pam. This is, and I think, I don't know if they're Fabric of the Month or what they are, but this is 32 count linen, mm -hmm. and this is 40 count linen. Yeah. So thank you, Dawn. Much appreciation. We need to do that. But we're certainly glad you did. Mm-hmm. Um, and then um, we also picked up our own copy of The Happiness is Homemade. Oh, boy. This is great. I yeah. flipped through it waiting. The recipes uh, are good. For time to go out Oh, Lenny Saturday. stitched that, and it was so cute. Lenny did? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. From Bluefar? Yeah. Yes. It's so freaking cute. Mm -hmm. But there is a chart in here from Blackbird Designs, which is what is making this book I mean there's a lot of things making the book and good popular recipes. Oh my to gosh. be fair but um mm, that all looks so good mm -hmm. um but yeah so this is a like collector's mm -hmm. item for sure so if you are interested in getting your hands on this I um, suggest you do so soon because eventually they will stop being made right. so yeah. Did that. And then I wanted to show everybody what I picked up for haul at the craft gallery as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, I have kind of like a short list of products that I want to start sometime soon. And one of them is Happy Heart Sampler from Birds of a Feather. So I was able to get every last one of the that's probably the DMC. Mm. There's one DMC and then all of these really pretty Week Starworks colors. Mm -hmm. So um, the call for fabric for this is 36 count Meadowlark from Birds with Feather. I actually have that in our stash. So mm -hmm. um, now all I got to do is cut the fabric. Right. And then I can start it whenever. Yeah. And, okay. And then you've seen this chart before. It's called Noel. That is the designer. May the force be with you. Um, and I just think it's so, so, Let so me see. sweet. Did I try to pronounce this once before? Probably. When I showed it on Floss Street, when I bought it, yeah. And I got the fabric for it, um, which is raw natural. It, I don't, can't tell if it's called for in 40 count, but I said on 40 count, so I got that. And then I also got the fabric for Rampant Cat Sampler. By Barbara Anna, which is raw natural. And so I have, like, we have so much fabric in our stash, sure, but I don't have a lot of cool neutrals. And it's funny because I think that new pompous grass yeah. would look pretty for this. You mean the pampas grass? Pompous grass. That's what it's called now. The pampas grass is pompous. Yes, it is. <laughs> I think it, that would look good on this, though. Yeah, I think so. So I might switch, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah. But to be fair, I bought this fabric before yeah. the pompous grass showed up. Um, and then, and then, uh, lastly on my short list of charts is this new release from Summerhouse Stitchworks. Oh, yeah. Spring Awakens. Yep. That's a bird with an umbrella. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's called for it to be done. The fabric is Colonial Parchment by Fabrics by Stephanie. Um, and then the threads are DMC. 
And so I wanted to be fancy and instead of using DMC, I am going to use needlepoint silk. So at first I thought I was going to use over dyed silk, but I really like the fabric. And so I, I'm the way that I look at things is if you have a like strongly variegated fabric, then the thread should not be strongly variegated. Um, cause then it's like just a lot going on. At least it is for my eyes. And so, um, like this chart, for example, the fabric is crazy, but the design is simpler. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I'd much prefer if it's going to be a crazy hand dyed fabric, not crazy, but like, you know, um, then I want it to be solid colors. So I had dinky dye silks pulled and needlepoint silks and with Pam's help, we decided to go with yep. the point silk. Yep. So, that's what we got at the craft gallery. And other places. And other places and things. Add, Add two, two cards. cards. Okay. All right, so now we're going to do <clears throat> the giveaway portion of the program. We are. So, we thankfully did not have any issues whatsoever mm -mm. with the giveaway puller, picker, whatever, winner thingy. Right. Um, so whew, thanks for that. Yeah. So uh, if this is the first time you've been through a giveaway on Just Keep Stitching, uh, then I always, before we sit down to record, always pull the winners live. So, uh, and then I record it and so you guys can see it. And so we will insert the video of me pulling winners of last week's giveaway items. Oh boy. Here. Hello, friends. Welcome to this week's giveaway portion of the program. And we are here to give away our three different giveaway items. So if you're new to our channel, how we do giveaways is we ask you to use a specific word in a comment. Then we use the YouTube random comment picker situation here um, to search for all the comments that include that word that we asked for. And then it will randomly pick a comment that uses that word and then... That is the winner. Of course, the winner needs to be subscribed to our channel, all the things. Um, but that usually all works out. So, um, so this is how we're going to do it. And we're going to start now. So, the first item up for grabs is the Ink Circles Bundle. So, first is Garden Stars. Yay. And then... Cirque de Circles. I think that's how you say it. Cirque de Circles. So, we are going to go over here, put in the YouTube URL here, and check off all this stuff. And then we ask you to use ink in your comment to be entered. So, let's see how many comments use the word ink. Three hundred and thirty-five unique comments. So let's pick a winner. Pam Ripley. Now I can't get Summer Breeze out of my head. Sorry about that. I don't have any ink circle patterns. I would love to stitch one. I love Prairie School and have stitched three Santas so far. She never found them. I would love to stitch the alphabet. Well, since you put ink in your comment, you have won. You are very first two ink circles patterns. Congratulations, Pam. All right, the next giveaway up for grabs is the Prairie Schooler Alphabet. You get all nine books. So, yay, 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 all of them. Okay, so to enter, we asked you to use the word alphabet in your comment to be entered. So let's see how many YouTube comments use the word alphabet. 419 unique comments. So let's pick a winner. Renee Salve? Salve, Salve. 
I'm so excited. I love watching your videos and your fun relationship with each other. I've always wanted to sit to the Prairie Schooler Alphabet Series. Well, today is your lucky day, Renee. You have won all nine charts in the Prairie Schooler Alphabet. Congratulations. All right, and the third and final giveaway is this beautiful flying pig project bag from Gamma's Treasures along with this chart called Wooden Pigs Fly from Not Forgotten Farm. So this will come to you together, whoever the winner is, and we ask you to use the word pig in your comment to be entered. So let's see how many YouTube comments used the word pig. 363 unique comments. All right, let's pick a winner. Deborah Goethe. Oh my gosh, I collect pig things. Love the bag and pattern. Well, Deborah, it is your lucky day. You have won the flying pig bag and chart from Not Forgotten Farm. Congratulations. All right, so... Congratulations to all three of our giveaway winners. Um, I feel like I will probably repeat this, but just in case, um, if you are one of the lucky winners, then please send your mailing information to Pam's email address, which is listed in the description box below our videos, um, and let her know where you want your winnings sent, and then we will put them in the mail to you. Um, and as soon as we hear from you, then we'll get them out ASAP. All right. Thank you all so very much for all of your wonderful comments. We appreciate each and every one of you, winner or not. We love you all. So we will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. So congratulations to yes. Renee, who won the Prairie School Alphabet, Pam, who won the Ink Circles Bundle, and Deborah, who won the Flying Pig Bag and Chart. Fantastic. And like I said in the video, if you won one of those items, then please reach out to us via email or Pam's emails in the description box with your address and we will get your winnings sent out to you. So, and thank you all so much for all of your entries. I We love reading them. It's so fun. So, all right. Okay. All right. Uh... We're near the end of the video, yep. and um, we're also near the end of the Just Keep Stitch and Spirit Wear sale. Uh, currently, it is 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time mm -hmm. in the United States, <laughs> Yes, and <laughs> the sale ends at midnight tonight. It does, yeah. So, uh, if you watch this... In the next hour or so, you are right on the edge of the end of the sale. And yeah. we just want to say it was a very successful sale. Yes. Um, we um, thank each and every one of you who um, take our spirit wear all over the world, mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's so, so very exciting. Yes. And it just shows that this is a worldwide hobby. Oh, yeah pastime, craft, all the things, um, all the things. And for that, we are just thrilled. Yes. So there will not be a link in this video mm -hmm. for the spirit wear because spirit right. wear sale will obviously have ended for the majority of right time, whatever. Anyway. Um, and so once the sale is over, right, that is when the printing and the production begins. Yes. And so, Hopefully within the next week and a half, two weeks, you get a notification that your order is being shipped. So yes. that's so exciting. Yes. So, so. thank you, everybody yes. who participated in that. Absolutely. We cannot wait to see <laughs> this stuff. And while we're thanking yes. folks, um, we always want to show our appreciation for those folks who took advantage of the Buy Me a Coffee or Coffee... Kofi, however you say it, link, KOFI, link in the description box yes. to send us a contribution toward our framing. And like I said, when we were up there yesterday, those contributions came in handy. Practically, you I mean, know, they paid for the whole thing. They just about mm -hmm. paid for the whole thing. 
So, um, we sincerely want to thank one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to go first? Nope, you're going to go first. Okay. We want to thank Tracy. Thank you, Tracy. Karen. Thanks, Karen. Ghislaine. Okay. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, G I think so. Okay. G Y L A. Ghislaine. Ghislaine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ghislaine. I'm not sure. Then Heather. Thank you, Heather. And Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. And to the one anonymous donor, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, yes. This is a, a wonderful way for you to show your support. If you've yes. got uh, Enabled, if you got uh, the giggles, if you uh, were inspired in any way by yep. what we show you, um, this is a good way to let us know that. Yeah. All right. Um, regarding next week. Yes. Um, we will be here. Yeah. Um, and, um, uh, beyond that, did we want to say anything? Nope. So, uh, in the midst of all of your Easter week planning, yeah. whatever, we will be will, here if you want to We will out. be here. We don't have really any special plans for no. Easter. Uh -uh. Um, I do have an Easter start that oh, I boy. am excited about. And, um, then another start on the day after, and I'll explain that next week. Cool. Very so, um, that pretty much wraps it up. Yes, it does. Um, like I said, it's 9 o'clock here. It's yep. time to eat. Yep. So, um, cool, cool, cool. we hope that you've had a good week. Uh, if you haven't had the best week, we hope this gave you a break. Yeah. And uh, perhaps brought a smile to your face. Um, so. Looking forward to another uh, great week. Um, Pam, it's the week we're going to be together, so it's going to be great. Oh, well, you know, what would I do? Um, and, um, uh, I don't, life I don't think we've got anything coming up this next week. I looked at my calendar and my calendar doesn't have anything crazy. But wow. Pants. We're wide open. Wow. So, yeah. so anyway, have a great week. Um, find, uh, comfort and peace in your stitching so. and, um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. We'll be here Sunday yep. and I'll still be. Pam. And I'll still be Steph. And we'll still be <laughs> Just, Just Keep, keep Stitching. Bye! Bye.